Is there anyone here tonight? Please, no, no one looking around. Be in the fear of the Lord. Please be reverent. Is there anyone here tonight that you can honestly say, I'm dealing with a crisis in my life and I need the Lord to bring light and clarity. Would you lift your hands? Just lift your hands. The Lord will see. He'll know. Thank you. There is a woman that has come before me in a vision. She's an older woman. She's Caucasian. She has short gray hair. She's dealing with some sudden health issues, some that are gradual and some that have come on her suddenly. But she's also concerned about her lost family, and she's also bothered by some of the family that she had or thought she had is not a part of her life or not contacting her, not calling her like they should or not showing love and concern like they should. And the Lord sees the sadness of your heart, the loneliness of your heart. I'm trying to find the woman out in the crowd now. There's a question on this woman's heart too. Her name is Barbara. Right there. One, two, three, four, fifth row back. That's you raising your hand. Does this word apply to you? Is this relevant for you? Yes. Amen. Whew. The Lord just came in the room just right now. I just felt a sudden surge of His Holy Spirit. There is a condition in your body that the doctors haven't even told you about yet and God is freeing you of it tonight. There's some also concerns where you have felt certain things on certain parts of your body and you've wondered if it was something worse than what it is. Not or lump and pain. I just free you of fear. Amen. Is that true? You know I'm telling you the truth. Wave your hand. Wave your hand if that's true. I don't know the woman at all. Ask her. I've never seen her. I've never sp as far as I know, I don't know you at all. And the Lord is also going to help bring reconciliation in your family. I particularly see a younger man. And there's something connected to him about the month of June. Something about the month of June that is relevant to him. And I think by June, this coming June, 2024, you're going to see a change and a turn in the direction in your family. And you're going to see a reconciliation and people reach out to you that you feel like have sort of abandoned you. And I'm also asking for the Lord to touch your back and your hips, your knees as well. I'm asking for him to heal your joints. I break the power of inflammation in the name of Jesus. I also ask him to touch your mind. He's going to recover faculties of your mind, even that you have felt less sharp in. He's going to help restore that. I see resurrection power coming on you suddenly. Can I pray for you? Stretch your hands forward to her. Father, in the name of Jesus, you see this heart. You are the comforter, the Holy Spirit. You have the ability to comfort and to bring reconciliation. And tonight you're bringing healing to her. You're bringing healing to her body, to her, her lonely heart, even broken heart. I break the power of discouragement or depression. It's got to go. It cannot remain on you. And I ask all those things that I said under the anointing of the Holy Spirit for the power of God to come upon her in a newfound way and that you will recover the years that the palmer worm, the canker worm, and the locust have devoured and eaten years to her life. Heal her body, her blood, and her mind, and her joints, her hips, her back, her knees, and recover in Jesus' name. The 
power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's all over you. Keep praying. Barbara, wasn't is that what I said, Barbara? Oh, God, you see the desire upon her heart. He's heard the prayers of your heart. He's felt we have a high priest which can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities and he was tempted in all points like as we are yet without sin.